Hello and uh, welcome from wherever you're watching us to this new tutorial where we are going to be learning how to use Genmo.ai. Today, Genmo Chat can help you create images, videos, and 3D models. To get to Genmo, you'll go to Genmo.ai and you'll be greeted with this welcome homepage. You notice some of the things that are on the site and some things that you can create with Genmo.ai. You notice these nicely looking images. With Genmo, you can create 3D assets. Basically, you generate 3D meshes and 360 degrees videos uh, with Genmo. You can ask for an object like an ice cream, sundae, or upload a photo and turn it into 3D. Next, you can also upload an image and animate part of it. For instance, the user can upload a starry night and ask Genmo to animate the sky into a time lapse. So that is what you can also do with Genmo. You can also generate and edit movies where the user can ask Genmo to create a movie with a title. Then the model will help create ideas which the human can critique. And then you can also write a script and then generate a trailer with Genmo. And finally, you can edit and create photos with words. Basically, you can replace content and change image styles with natural language. So you can also design presentation with app icons like you notice here. Genmo can generate app icons as well. Here, Genmo makes icons for a creative co-pilot. So that's a lot you can do with Genmo. So once you get to their site, which I'll be leaving in the description of this video, that is genmo.ai, you'll be able to see all that. Next, you'll click on login at the top right corner here, and then you can sign in with Google or you can sign in with Discord. So I'll click on sign in with Google and then you will select the account to sign in with. And then you create a password and then you'll be taken to this page. You now notice here I'm already signed in and uh, you notice something here they call fuel, written as 100. These are units which will be consumed per creation. And how do you get these units? If I click on pricing here, you notice that for the free version, you get 100 daily fuel, which resets midnight UTC. So that's where you get the units. But if you have, which you pay $10 per month, then you get 1,000 daily fuel, which also still resets at midnight. And the difference between the free version and the turbo mode is that one of the differences is that the free mode will have a watermark, while the turbo mode will not have a watermark. And then with the free version, you may have to wait, but with this turbo, you have priority access to new models. So that's how you get these 100 fuel units. So once you do that, it will take you to this page where you can now type here the image that you want to generate. In this case, you see a sample, a dancing ballerina in whirling blue smoke. So we can also type our own here, then we generate. I'll click a fluffy kitten playing with a ball. And then down here on these three images you see here, on these three setups you'd see, you notice we have the first one, which is more of a portrait. And then we have this one, which looks more of a square. And then we have the horizontal style. So you can choose the one that you would want. In this case, I'll just select the center one. And then you can also make it select the auto style. And then you can now click on generate image. It's running. And you notice down here, we get a fluffy kitten playing with a ball. Something down here indicates it's running. And there we have it. It's at 50%. It's now at 77. The nearer it gets to 100, the clearer the image becomes. And uh, finally, it is through. And there we have our generated image. We have a fluffy kitten with, or rather a fluffy kitten playing with a ball. If I go up here and look at my fuel, you notice it's still at 100, meaning because I've not accepted the image, my fuel units are still the same. So I'll come down here and click on this tick box at the lower left corner to mean that I accept that image. So it will take me to the next step. 
text to video. Step two, this way I define the story of my video and my AI animation will start with this frame. Here I'll describe what I want the free frames to look in the caption. Be descriptive and feel free to add interesting artistic styles. So those are the instructions here. So here I can use video in painting where the car where I color over backgrounds and objects to animate them or let Genmo animate the whole flame. So in this case, I can decide which part to animate. So you notice when I bring the cursor to the image, it forms something like a brush. So if now I just keep on painting, I can paint the part that I want to be animated. So I can paint that, paint the tail of that kitten, and then paint the face. I can add all that, cover the whole body of the kitten with a brush. You now notice the color that has been selected. Then here I can set the brush size. Maybe I need to make it smaller so that I'm able to paint these fluffs at the, to paint this hair at the top. Like that, I can make it bigger also. Then down here, I can decide which items to exclude and I can describe the style and objects to uh, exclude here. In this case, I don't want to exclude any because I've already done my selection. Then down here, under customize options, I can decide the length, video length. So longer videos will use more fuel. You noted we had 100, so this is at 2.5 seconds. If I make it longer, it will use more fuel. But let me just make it to be 3 seconds. And then exploration, where I increase the exploration for faster changing and it more, more chaotic and it becomes more chaotic animation. So I won't increase that. I'll simply actually lower it slightly. And then we have the dynamism at 20 and dynamism controls how fast content changes over time and higher values can lead to the image being blurry or the video being blurry or blurred. So I'll reduce that again. So for smoothness, it controls the smoothness of transitions. I'll leave it at 50%, but you notice I can also adjust that. I get the scene number here and then the seamless video loop, I can check that so that the video loop will be seamless. So once I'm satisfied with that, I'll come up here and click on make video. It's submitted and it brings me to this site where you notice now we have a fluffy kitten playing with a ball and it down here it's written pending because it is still processing. And you notice this may take time, but here they give me an option. Activate turbo mode. So upgrade to Genmo Turbo for 10 times more fuel every day. No watermarks, high quality, longer videos, access to Genmo chat, and of course for commercial use. So I can do that and I can click there then come and buy the Turbo mode here. So, but I still go back to where I was. Uh, my fuel has gone down to 84 units. So that is how the fuel is used. So if I click here and create another image, you will act, you still notice that my fuel will keep on going low. I didn't wait for the fluffy kitten to, to animate. So I'll just quickly create another one and show you how to animate that. Let me type a flower growing. Then I'll click on generate. It's running. And there we have our image generated. So I can click on this tick here to accept the image. Then down here, I can now decide to make this setting, change these settings as I had indicated. So again, I can select the image as I did, just as I did the first instance. So I'll just highlight the parts that I want to be animated. Then I'll click on make video. Now there it is. You notice how nicely our image has been animated. You notice the loop. That's how you generate an image with Genmo and then you also animate it. So if now I want to use this image, I'd simply click on download, then I'll click on save and my image is downloaded and I can access it here on my downloads. Let me just view that. And here it is, let me play it with VLC. So that's our image. So if I want to still use this image, but regenerate it, I can click on remix this video, or if I want to create a new one, I can click on make 
a new video. So now, instead of creating and generating an image, I'll be uploading an image and instructing Genmo to animate that. So I'll click on Upload. There is this kitten that I had already downloaded. I'll click on that. And then I'll click on Open. And now it is uploading. So here is the kitten that I had already downloaded. And now it is uploaded. So I can now instruct Genmo to simply animate this. I can select just like we did in the beginning, but I can also let genmo.ai automatically select the image. So I'll do that. I'll let it select by clicking on make video and then it's submitted. This now again, it has changed from pending to running. So it has gotten to 100 and I want you to notice how the cat has been and I want you to notice how the kitten has been animated. You now notice it is not a still picture. It has the animation. The fur seems to be moving. The eyes also seem to be moving. So that is how you use genmo.ai to create videos. So that is how you use genmo.ai. I hope this has been a helpful video. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.